I ran to the polls in 1980 to vote for Ronald Reagan. Big reason why? Iran. At that time, I could care less about politics. I want to share this story with you to put in context this killing of the Iranian general, the terrorist, Qassem Soleimani. I mean, he was in Baghdad to help orchestrate that attack on our embassy there. And by the way, that's one of a zillion embassy attacks. It's kind of their M.O. But it was back in November 4th, 1979, that the embassy, our embassy in Iran was attacked. And they took hostage. A whole bunch of Americans held them for like a year and a half. It was awful. And you know what? At that time, I was a real fan of Jimmy Carter. He's a college student. But you know what? He was a Southern farm boy. So am I. He was a Christian. So am I. He was a giant, moral, cool guy to me. But I'll never forget seeing him and watching him on my television screen when early one morning, he explained what happened in a failed rescue attempt where eight of our soldiers were killed when one of the helicopters crashed. It was horrible. He looked so weak and broken. The only word he did not use was surrender, but he might have, should have done it because that's what we were doing. And we didn't get those hostages out until we did the first Iran deal, which was the same as Obama did, which is just give them a whole bunch of money. That's, that's always the answer to every situation for us. Now, Iran had gone through a big revolution. They became an Islamic republic. And so in 1979, they were chanting in the streets, death to America and burning the American flag, just like they are today. And since that one, they've had 12, 13 embassy attacks by jihadist, by Islamic terrorists, which Soleimani was the key, okay, was the biggest one of the more famous of those attacks was Benghazi. Remember that one under the Obama uh, years with Hillary Clinton? I mean, it was just terrible. And I laughed when I first heard that they were blaming that on some dude's YouTube video. And I said then, whoa, do you not know history? These people hate us. And by the way, in Islamic Republic, they follow Sharia law, which means the rest of us who are not Muslim, we are infidels and we deserve to die. That's why they're going to be chanting death to America for all time. They are our sworn enemy. Get that in your head. Now, this killing of Soleimani, I hate to see it in the political arena. This is the one place that we should all be together as one. You know, we can fight politics. It's fun to debate. But when it comes to dealing with our enemies, and let me tell you this, Every one of those Democrat presidential candidates, except maybe Bernie, had they, had they been sitting in Trump's seat, would have given the same order. All right. But the reason I voted for Reagan, he preached peace through strength. And he said, we will be in a position to overwhelm any enemy that tries to do anything to our people. Well, guess what? We may be looking at that again in 2020.